Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about use of count function or count loop in your Terraform infrastructure as a code. There are some scenarios in which you would require to run or repeat your line of code or a block of code up to certain iterations. If you want to do that, one of the basic iteration logic or iteration functions available in Terraform is the count one. You can also use for, for each and the other operation type in Terraform but count is something which is widely used across any of these collection type. We'll learn how to use the count function in our logic. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Peer Learner. Let's say we have this story account resource block which we are using to create the story account. Now we have a requirement to create let's say five story account. To create a story account, five number of story account we can use a loop function which is using count and I can specify the length of this count function so I can say run this particular story account resource block three times if I'm going to create this story account same three times with the same name it will create it will give me an error I can do one thing here is I can use format which we have seen in our previous video and then I can use dash dash and then here like this which is the name of this story account and I can use count so count provides the property as an index so you can use count dot index so now it will give a zero based index which will run from zero one and two so three times and you would have this story account name so whatever is the name where which has got in this particular variable it will be appended with zero one two three let's run the plan and see how it looks like so you can see that it's trying to create three story accounts and if we read it carefully you will see these are the number of story account which we are creating story account zero which is zeroth index of my account operator story account one which has the value as story name and then one Similarly, story account 2, which has the name as in 2. So, there yeah, you can use count. Now, obviously, you can read this value from a variable and, and pass the value somewhere here. So, this is option number 1. You can also run the count operator on some collection. Let's say if I have this property as in collection, so I can specify the story account name is in collection so let's go and use this story account name and in the variables let's see where we are specifying the collection name and now I can go to my Terraform code let's save it here on this count section I can use the length length function so what will happen is this will read the name of this particular uh, length of this collection and it will run the loop up to that particular length so which we know that it's going to run up to three times and here in the name section specifying the name we can use it like this so it will return the for this index item of zeroth index item of one index index one and item of index two Similarly, you can and this is how you can create the multiple story account with the help of collection as well. Now you can also say that let's say if you want to make a decision whether you want to run the story account or you want to create the story account or not, you can let's say make a decision if that property is of type null. Let's say for example, if where dot create a storage is equal to true then run the, create these many story accounts 
if not then do nothing or you can say equal to zero so what we are saying is if create storage variable is true a property of the create the value of the create storage variable is true then create this storage account how many storage account the length of this storage account if not true then basically don't create a storage account this is what we are saying here so let's declare this variable quickly so now what will happen it will not go and create this storage account because it's not true and you can see that it has ignored the the storage account block because we have mentioned that the property is false this is how you can use uh, the count operator to iterate the loop with a specified number of times and you can make a decision whether you want to execute a particular resource block or not thanks for watching the video i hope you have found this video helpful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you in the next video